In this 3 minute video, I'll show why change is complex with the help of marshmallows, chocolate and popcorn. Here's 100 people and our job is to make them change their behavior. My experience is that some of them are really enthusiastic and will jump on the new thing right away. Some will go no way and fight hard to stay the same as now. And the rest will go, well I have to think about that. My numbers correlate with the Gallup state of workplace that says the number of engaged people at work are about 16% in Sweden where I live. The not engaged are about 70% and the actively disengaged are about 13%. Let's change perspective, the marshmallow test. You know this cute test where 4 year olds are left with the marshmallow for a while and if they can wait long enough to eat it, like 15-20 minutes, they get another marshmallow. The test showed that the majority, two thirds of kids couldn't wait, they just ate the one they had. This means that most of our group of 100 people want something good now and are not prepared to wait or work for a long time to get it way better. That's a challenge. But that was 4 year olds, how about adults? Silvia Barcello's study with chocolate and apples shows that two thirds of people will take the chocolate rather than the apple if they are offered both even though they know the apple is the healthier choice. So the marshmallow ratio seems to apply to adults too. Her tests also show that when you ask people if they will take a chocolate or an apple the next time, they say they'll take the apple, but then they don't. So we can't really trust ourselves when we're asked if we'll do the right thing in the future. It's messy. On top of that, we have to choose between having all our people change and likely burn a few that got bored, or stick with a majority and leave some behind. Just like when you make popcorns. So our 100 persons are a mix of yes-sayers, don't-knowers and no-sayers that will all take different amount of time to make up their minds. And most of them will rather take some instant gratification than work hard for a long time to get something that is better. And yeah, we can't really trust ourselves either. All in all, we have a lot of factors to weigh in. And then we haven't gone to the personal level yet where you find hidden individual factors like stress, ambition, financial situation, health, etc. Conclusion When we need people to change their behavior, it's complex rather than complicated. This means it is hard to make a detailed plan up front, because we have so many unknown factors that can tilt the plan. So we need an approach that is suitable for dealing with many unknowns. It can be any kind of iterative incremental approach where you inspect and adapt on the way. Personally, I'm working with a hypothesis-driven transformation approach, but that's the story of its own. Choose whatever floats your boat. There you have it, chocolate, marshmallows, popcorn. Changing people is a complex thing.